Hello, so today I'll be discussing December lunchtime second problem age calculator. Let's look at the problem statement. It says chess lives on a planet and it has and on that planet it has n months and it has AI days in the ith month has AI days and if a year is divisible by four then the last month of each leap year is one day longer there that means if a uh, year is divisible by 4 then it is a leap year and the last month of that year will contain an extra day and you are given chef's birth date and current date and we need to find the age of chef in days so let's look at the input t denoting the number of test cases n which represent the number of months in a year and a1 a2 an which represent the days in ith month respectively the third line contains YB, MB and DB which is the current year denoting the year, month and day of chef's birth and the next line contains YC, MC and DC the current year, month and day respectively. We need to output a single integer that is the chef's age in days. This is the set of inputs given in the problem and this is the set of output. We need to generate it. Let's look forward. I'll be explaining this problem on the basis of 13 cases. So let's look at the first case when month and year are same. That means the birth month and the current month is same along with the current year and the birth year. So uh, the number of days in such case in that case will be current date minus birth date plus one. Now let's move forward when the years are different. So when the year is different then what we'll do is we will add the day we will find the number of days present in that month. So uh, for that we'll be using this ARA month minus per date plus one. Now we'll be increment month by one and modulus n. This I have done because the value of month is an array and it lies between 0 to n minus 1 so whenever the month becomes n so n modulus n will be 0 let's assume the value of n is 2 and month is 1 month is 1 and the value of n is 2 so uh, after do after incrementing it by 1 it will become 2 and 2 modulus 2 is 0 which will specify that this is the last month and the next case is derived from this only that is it it is the last month and the year is a leap year so what we'll be checking is if with two conditions here month is 0 that is we the, it was the last month and the year is a leap year and if the year is a leap year then the last month will contain an extra day so we will uh, add plus we will add one to the number of days and we will increment the value of year by one also so now let's look at the case two when the year after incrementing the value of year and it will be less than current year at that time what we'll be doing is we'll add a, a value of a array month to number of days because if the month is two current year is two and we need to go to three then we will be adding all the value value in months of year two so what we'll be checking here is that we'll after that we'll be incrementing the value of month and let's check if the value of month is n that is if it is the last month then again we will be checking if the year is divisible by 4 and if it is so then it will be having one extra day as in leap year always has an extra day we will change the value of month to 0 and we will increment the value of year now let's look at the last case which is when the year is same now let we will be looking at the month the month is less than the current month so what we'll be doing is we'll be adding the number of days plus a a month and we'll be incrementing month like this so when the month is not equal we'll be repeating this while loop and when they are equal we'll simply add the current date 
to the number of days and print the number of days if you have any query then please do comment don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos thank you